So to find our bra making calculator, you go to blog.porcelain.com and then go to the bra making calculator underneath pattern tutorials. Now I've just made a bunch of changes to make this easier to follow and it actually follows directly with the book and the online course. You can fill out your measurements here. You have your full bust, over bust, chest, under bust, your chest height. Now these are all explained in my video on taking measurements so make sure that you watch that in order to get the correct amounts here. Then you over here you can select your wire style. So we have the regular wire, vertical wires, vertical flats. Um, if you do not have one of our wires, you're using someone else's wire, you can always go to our charts and download them and compare yours to my wires or follow the video on how to determine your wire diameter or the wire width. Down here I also have a space for breast spacing. This is new. So this will actually help you with your band draft. So here we have a couple options. If you have literally no space between the breast, um, we would actually enter this one. If you have a little bit over a finger's width of space, you enter this, two fingers, three fingers, and this will actually do a little bit of math for you um, further on. If you know the percentage of stretch that you'll be using for the back band, you can select that here. And this is also is part of the output that will tell you what to draft with. If you don't actually know your percentage quite yet, just leave it at 50 and then once you do your once you do your test for the stretch, you can always come back and re-enter your measurements and re and do a new output for your video. In this area you can actually select whether you are asymmetrical. Now I do need to explain. If you are using two separate wires, you would actually run this entire report twice. Once for, let's say, this wire, and then once again for your other wire. When doing this, this automatically accounts for the change in, uh, basically it, it automatically accounts for the asymmetry in your body. If you know for sure that you are asymmetric more than one cup size, then you can add that down here. If you are using the exact same wire for both sides and you know that you are asymmetrical, then you would go ahead and enter that down here. And what this does is this will create a second set of measurements here to draft with. If you are doing two different wires, like I said, you'll have to run this report twice. So everything you've entered up at the top comes down here. The first part of your drafting is the band draft. So this is all of the information that you have entered above and it's just in summary form. So this kind of does your quick summary of what measurements you actually need for the band draft. And then here we also have the amounts for the cup draft. So here, Let's see, you have your horizontal bust diameter. This is also referred to as a bust measurement. It would be in two different cups or a single cup if you have symmetry. And I'll just go back to that. So if you come down here, you'll see that there's nothing here um, if it is symmetric. This here has your quarter wire circumference. This is all math that is done for you, so you don't have to do the math that's in the book. And so forth. Down here, your cup curves. This only pertains to when you are working with your sloper and in case you actually need to make any changes to your draft or your measurements, you want to do that first instead of using your original output for the sloper cups. Thanks for watching. If you would like to have more content like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment below. Thank you very much.